Take a look at this beautiful vintage Panasonic RX DS750 boombox. It can play your CDs and in fact it can accommodate up to three of them at once. It can play your radio here and your tapes here. So if you press the power button you will then see a red indicator light coming on and if you want to play your CDs just press this CD eject button and then this packet opens up and if you look inside here you'll notice that the disc 2 is now present in here depending on which disc you finished listening last you can see a number one two or three in here so now i have prepared actually some discs so i'll just go ahead and grab the disc 2 accordingly and put it right in here now that i did i can either press the disc 2 to start playing or play I will go ahead and press disc 2 because I know it is the second packet. Here's our music. Beautiful. Here's the volume buttons as you see. You can adjust that and on the screen also it shows you that disc 2 is currently in motion. It's playing. If you would like to add additional discs, just press this button here. And now that you did, you can also take a look in here and you see that the disc 1 is right now on top but it always it could be disc 2 or 3 the same thing so go ahead and grab whatever disc you want and put it in here but one thing you may want to know is that you cannot put two discs at once in here see this will be wrong if you did that you can jam the mechanism and even break it you only put one disc at a time all right so i put one disc and i'm closing it so I know that I put it under disc 1. If I press disc 1 here, the disc 2 is going to stop and switch. I love these mechanics. And now disc 1 plays. Beautiful. If you would like to add another disc, so you can open this up and see now this space freed up and this is disc 3 so it just so happen I have one in here I'm gonna put it in here and close this and in fact you don't even have to close it to make the switch look I can leave this open and if I press disc 3 now look Beautiful. Disc 3 is now playing. Alright, let's close it now. And let's take a look at our graphic equalizer here. Let's increase the volume. Let's add some bass. Great. Now, these buttons here you can use to skip forward. Look. See, I just did. Or skip back. It's a great song. So I don't mind skipping back. And if you wanted to, you can change to another song right here. Here's song 2, song 3, and song 4. Okay, so here's song 4. And if you wanted to, you can press pause and you can pause it. Or you can let it play. So if you would like to stop, just press this stop button here. 
and then it stopped. You can press play if you would like to start again. But now we are starting from the beginning of the disc. Also, if you would like to play the CD quickly, you may think that what you need to do is to press the power, CD, and then play. Nope, all you have to do is to just press the play. And the boombox automatically turns on, goes to the CD mode, and plays the CD. So that's your CD here, and if you had a remote control that should be available with this unit but I don't have it this is the sensor for it right here and while we add it let's take a look at our phones in here so I have these headphones right here let's plug them in also if you had the remote control you would have access to some extra features described in the instructions manual whoops so we did and now Now we are using the headphones. All right, standard feature. Let's remove all the discs. So I can open this here. I can remove disc two, but then there is disc one and disc three to be removed. So for disc three, I can just press this and now it will stop. Okay, so here's my disc 3, and then disc 2 is now hidden inside there. So just go ahead and close this pocket here, and now that you did, uh, you know that this is disc 1, because disc 2 is up here. That's disc 2, you know that, and you also know that in here is disc 3. It says right here, therefore disc 1 is in there. So then you press disc 1. and press CD eject button and this is your disc one wonderful beautiful system I love it it's old school mechanics you can also remove the bottom disc in the following way just press the CD eject button remove this disc in here once you did go ahead and open this tray and remove this disc from here all right then close this tray and then take a look at this number here. It says disk one. Well then press disk one and see what happens. Ha, magic, here it is. I love it, I love these mechanics. It's really awesome. Also notice that with this model here, when you open the CD here, and then when you close it or press it from this angle, it doesn't always close unless you press it harder. But why do that and why struggle with it when instead what you can do is to just press from this corner. And that's it. Gentle push, see? If you do that that way. So that's what you probably want to do is to press it from here because the latch mechanism is in here, see? That's where it latches. And now it's simple and easy. Same thing on this side too. When you open it up, that's it right from this side not so much unless you push it harder from this side no problem that's because the latch mechanism is on this side not on this side all right so now that you done with the cd player let's go to, to the radio with the radio you press this tuner band button here here's your radio so let's go ahead and look for stations here and when it comes to the antenna, take a look how long it is. It's pretty long, so then you can catch all the stations you need. Okay, 88.5. Say that you wanted to preset the station so it's memorized. You then press memory and then choose the preset tuning station so you have 10 of them so you can go to from 1 to 10 I'm gonna go ahead and choose one press memory so now if I will go ahead and switch to this and then go ahead and press 1 I'm back to 88.5 see and you can do this with up to 10 stations 
Press tuner band button again, now you are at your AM stations. Alright, you also have 10 independent preset uh, save modes in here available as well that you can use. And now here you may wonder what if the power goes out? Well, if the power goes out, then one of the two things can happen. If you installed the memory batteries, that's right, memory batteries on the back, then all your preset stations will be saved. But if you didn't, then they will be lost. So, take a look. Now, turn the radio around and this little packet here on the back will have your memory batteries. So, if you remove it, it takes four AA batteries. Alright, you put them here and then your memory stations would not be erased. Alright? But if you were to unplug this, then yes, your memory stations would be lost. Let's go ahead and put our tape in. Press play. Okay, and it doesn't play. Why is that? Because here you have to press the tape. And it plays. Right, so here is our tape now. Fast forward. This is where you fast forward. This is where you rewind. Notice that while it rewinds, it also has the full auto stop. And there it is in action. It will do it with fast forward, rewind, or play. It will just auto stop, as it says in here. Full auto stop. Fast forwarding. You can pause. You can put the tape out and then reverse. All right. So now this record button here, you can use to either copy something from the radio station or CD. You cannot record your voice with it, but let's go ahead and record something. So I'm going to open this up and get one of the discs in here and I'll press play okay so now we're waiting here's the playing right say I want to record that so click If you wanted to add radio to it right now while it copies the CD, it won't let you. See, look, you can do that. See, nothing can be now pressed at this time. See, it is just busy recording. But if you stop, now you can press tuner. And now you can press record. Let's go ahead and actually find a station. And, and pushing back on vaccine mandates and he watches what right. happens within his own Republican Party. How, how is the state judging him? Well, I think a couple of things. I think your, your point about the, the vaccine mandates is a very interesting. All right, now go to tape. Last few days. Now rewind and see what, what we get. So here's that music we just played and recorded. Let's wait for the lovely radio message. And he watches what happens within his own Republican Party. How? Oh no, I recorded over this. Oh man. My favorite song. No. <laughs> All right. And this is it. And in order to record on these tapes, they cannot have these type of holes like this one here does. That means it's protected, 
and probably because there's an album on it of an artist and there it is it is an album of an artist same thing in here see there's a hole which means you couldn't record but if you don't have that hole like in here or in here see there's a plastic in here you could then put it in and record something on so if you put one of those tapes that have holes and see if I would I wouldn't be able to even press um, the record button so here's the tape I'm going to put it in here and now it won't let me press it in see it's not gonna come in that's all right if you put the tape that does not have these holes in then you can record as you please all right so now you know and you already did anyway sorry I couldn't help myself I had to rewind the tape with the pencil Panasonic RX DS750 is an awesome boombox and one thing I have to say about this that it sounds great like the sound quality I love it it is so well balanced it's just a boombox it's crisp crystal clear I like it let's take a look what do we have on the back here of this wonderful boombox so on the back here we also have this pocket here you can open it and inside there you would put eight of D batteries and then you could use this boombox without the power cable here for example if you had this girl with whom you were in love deeply all you got to do is to plug eight of these D batteries pick up this boombox go by her window where she lives play her favorite song and express all the love you got for her I did it it didn't work maybe it will with you let me know in the comments as you can see here some Frankenstein has cut off the speaker wires so that's why we have this extra wire here connecting the speakers to the boombox and if you wanted to remove any of these wires all you will have to do is to just press any of these buttons that you want the wire to be removed from and here it is you may need to twist that in order to put it back up because I'm twisted I mean the wire needs to be twisted then you put it in here and then it's closed up and there you have it the speakers can be easily disattached by simply pushing this button here and putting the speaker up you can do this with both of them very quick and easy and if you would like to put your speakers back just grab it and slide it down the tracks here When you do that, don't pinch the wires on the back. It's possible for them to get entangled somewhere. You could hear the click indicates that the buttons got in the positions like they should be here. The large woofer has a 120 millimeter diameter and the small one has a 15 millimeter diameter. On the bottom here you have one very interesting thing which is this sticker here that shows you the date this boombox was manufactured and through this hole here you would see the D-type batteries if you had any installed. Also this boombox has a convenient handle that you can use to carry it around and it weighs 6.6 .6 kilograms or 14.5 pounds. So the boombox width is just over 25 inches, its depth appears to be about 10 inches and its height appears to be just over 10 inches. We're done, that's it.